In this video, I'll be showing you how to add images to your GitHub readmes. They're really helpful to demonstrate a feature, like you could have a little animated GIF or something, and it's fun to spice up your documentation because it can be dry. This took me forever to figure out, and a lot of the tutorials I found use this kind of hack method where you say like, oh, let's open a new issue, and then let's drag in a picture. This uploaded to a GitHub server somewhere, and then you'd copy this markdown code and paste it in. You do have an image, but this isn't the best practice because it's using absolute paths. The same kind of hack works on any kind of comment box because it has this markdown editor. You just drag in a thing and it uploads it and it makes your markdown for you. I wish GitHub would incorporate this kind of intelligent markdown where you say like highlight text to make it bold. Like it has all these nice features. Why isn't there intelligent formatting here? But anyway, the absolute path method is not the best because absolute paths are theoretically slower and you're depending on GitHub's server to store your images. Now it's probably dependable, but if they decide to change where they store the images, your temporary image you uploaded to a comment could just like disappear and your readme would be broken. Plus it's not actually part of your repository, so if somebody clones it, they don't get the images. Turns out it's way simpler than this. You can just use relative paths like you would in HTML on the command line and they start from the root of your repository. So I've just made an image folder in this repo called images and I'm going to copy this file name here. Get rid of this, and let's start over. So in Markdown, an image starts with an exclamation point, then you put the two square brackets. If you put any text inside those, they'll be your alt text if your image link doesn't work, but most people leave them out. Then you put the opening parentheses, type in the path, so that's in images folder, and then the actual name of the image, and that. Now why won't this work? Well, there's a space in here. And if I go look at the actual file on GitHub, up in the address bar, there's a percent %20 where the space is. And that's just the thing about how URLs part spaces. It's probably best to not have spaces in your files, but you can always fix it by adding the percent %20 in. Preview changes. And what do you know? We have an image that's using a relative path. Now this is much better than the first method because you need to update your image. All you'd have to do is change the image over at the old file, keep it the same file name, and then your readme wouldn't have to change at all. If you're using this method, you'd have to drag in the image each time, copy the new absolute path because it's going to generate a unique one every time because it just thinks it's a new image, and then you'd have to paste that and update the readme as well. So I'm just going to put in these other ones just for fun. So I have two more images to add, and the last one is called small. That small image is actually 256 pixels square, and what do you know is taking up the same size. But these ones are stretching because they're huge, and maybe you don't want them that huge. Some kinds of markdowns support sizing. You could do 100 times 20, but GitHub does not interpret that, and notice how this doesn't even recognize it as an image. That's because there can't be a space in the link part, so forget that. But the good thing is GitHub actually supports the HTML image tag, which starts with image, and then you type the SRC, which stands for the source, and then you type the path. We're going to into the images folder, and then the name of the thing, and your quote. This will give you the identical image, but the image tag supports a width and height attribute. Now if you preview this, look, it's like half the size. You can also specify a height, but look, it'll shrink it super small because it's not maintaining the aspect ratio. If you want to keep the aspect ratio, just only specify one of these, and then the other will be auto. And this even works with spaces because you can just copy the name and overwrite that paste that in, and let's just make the height back to normal so it'll fit. And what do you know? We have the large image that is right down here, but now we're just making it super small. I think this is the better way to add images to your repository, and this way you can update them without having to change the readme itself, just the actual image files.